Hello friends, today we would be going over introduction for Swift. So we would be learning uh, how to make cool apps. Um, this is a 100% object oriented programming. That means whatever you code is in, is in objects. So we use object oriented programming because the Cocoa Touch, the main library is object oriented. And then you can uh, apply the MVC design model to it. And then it's the code is reusable, reversible, you can you can extend the code you can adopt the code make some changes so it's basically like uh, reducing your reducing the amount of code that you have to write so for prerequisites let's just go over so our ios what do you mean by ios ios stands for iphone operating system that is installed on every apple cell phone so it uh, so it consists of four layers the bottommost layer is the core os layer it is this layer has all the security and the certificates and the keychain passwords and all the security things the second layer is core services layer this layer has the has the core part that is like the core location or the threading or the urls or the databases this has the main data the next is the media layer so media layer has all the jpg files core audio files audio mixing video recording OpenGL animation like everything related to the media files and all the libraries to it and the topmost layer is the Cocoa Touch layer so this layer contains all the libraries linked to your whatever you see on the screen like the touches, the motion, the views, the controls, camera, map kit, web, everything on the screen so uh, yeah so what all tools we require? So tools will require Xcode 6 instruments. If we're gonna go over instruments later, it is actually to find out memory leaks. Languages we're gonna be using only Swift. Frameworks, we're gonna be using a bunch of frameworks, foundation framework, core data, UI kit, map kit, core motion. Design strategy would be MVC. And now we're gonna be going over uh, the demo for today. So let's just start making my simple apps. So I have Xcode right here. So you can also open your Xcode, and then let's start with a fresh project. So as soon as you open the Xcode, create a new Xcode project. And since you're making for iOS, so go to Application and then Single View Application. Click on Next. Let's write Swift One uh, Video. That's what I'm trying to do. And then the desktop is always the best place to make one. Then you're gonna go to view controller. Uh, so we have made a new project. So let's go over basic things. This is the app delegate file. So app delegate file is basically it has all the methods that are called according to the names. Like this one is called when the app is finished launching. This one is called when the app is active. This one is called when the app is suspended or goes to the background. This one is called when it comes to the foreground. This one is because when it become active. This one is called when the app terminates. All these methods are called according to their functions. This is the view controller. So this is where your code goes in. And in that you have different methods. Here we're gonna go over it in detail. This is your storyboard. So the people who code in Java, they might know that this is the concept of interface builder. So you have all your objects over here, like label, button, text field, slider, progress view, table view, image view, all these buttons. So you can actually go in there and then just drag and drop. It's just as simple as that, drag and drop. So, and then when you click on this, if you come to the property inspector so this is where you you will see all your properties of that object so as of now we are hitting the view controller so we see properties of all the view controllers in here and then this is for having all images we're gonna go over all of it this is the launch screen so this is the screen that first shows up as soon as you open the project open the application on your cell phone and as of now we have kept it empty this is your p list this is like the this is like the like the property list so this so this file stays even though the app is deleted and it comes with the app so it's like a local storage you can think like that okay let's come back to the view controller okay uh, 
let's come back to storyboard so let's just make a simple like a label thing so let's just add a label I go for the label and let's make your phone small so if you click on the view controller go to size and make it iPhone 4 inch uh, we have a label now and let's have three buttons and this is a button button 1 button 2 button 3 and this is the label okay and now so we have added the objects to our interface builder uh, to our view controller now we have to connect it to our code so the way we do it is you come to the assistant editor and then you click on it and then from over here you drag it so you drag it to this label so you just hit once more so you click on this object then you hit so then you hit control on your keyboard then you drag it then you name it as LBL and now we have three buttons so now this is a property okay but these buttons are of type IB action so you have to select action to it then you have to say button one so these IB actions have method inside it so these methods are called whenever you click on this button and now let's click this button, button okay oh wait we did something wrong okay you have to you have to make sure that you always click on uh, Uh, action okay so now we have these three met three methods with these three buttons so these methods will be called every time you click on this button so when I click my button one and I, I want the label to be displayed as one so I'm gonna say self dot label dot text equals to one and then you're gonna have the same thing up here I'm gonna make this as two. I'm gonna make this as three. Okay. So now when I will click my first button, I will make it as the label will turn one, the label will turn two, the label will turn three. Now how do you run the application? So you come here and then you select the simulator. Always try to run on iPhone 5 because it's much faster. You select your iPhone 5 and then you hit play. And now the app should run properly. So this is our iPhone 1 simulator. So, oh, hooray! It's working. So we made our successfully made our first application. And this one, as you can see, it button one, button two, button three. So by using Swift, we were able to make our first application, mobile application, and you can see it's working. And the simpler way you can change it to iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, iPhone 4, whatever you want. Thank you guys for watching the video. I am Chirag Agarwal and I would be making more and more Swift videos. So if you want to learn Swift, just keep on just keep on following my my tutorials. Thank you.